Women can now Women swim be shopping. topless. Oh, yes. In Berlin's swimming pools. Congrats. They passed a bill, said it was discriminatory that men could be topless and women could not. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. So. Vacationing there next? Yep. Okay. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, Bill Corbin. I'm not German. Free the nipple. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for to come subscribe to the like button. Um, yeah, that's always been a... We've gotten better, but boy, are we prudish. Yeah. Comparatively. Yeah. Especially Germany. Germany has always been about stop sexualizing the human body all the time. Most European. That's why they're yeah, yeah, yeah. the topless uh, yeah. place. In one. And, I mean, Have just... you ever been anywhere where that's a norm in their society and you see topless women? Because I've experienced it only once. I've experienced it multiple times. Be oh, really? When I was a kid. In Hawaii, there was actually, there's a few uh, nude beaches. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my dad meant yeah, to, but we were going surfing. And <laughs> well, so for most kids, they're not going to give a rip. No. Uh, it's only once puberty hits that you start to notice those kinds of things. Yeah. But I remember it was in it was in Papua New Guinea. And, and, and obviously the Hula tribe, like most tribes in Papua New Guinea, they're two and a half, three hours removed from any city. And rent, you know, takes you have to go off roading to get to them. Completely normal, yeah, for the women to be without their tops. Um, I agree. Uh, today we got a video. This is from the same uh, people that did uh, Prabhu's video. Um, oh, the, yeah, the thing. oh, two, yeah, and this is for KS, Great. K KS Chitra, the uh, the. I'm glad we're doing another the one. The legendary uh, Nightingale of South India is is is. Uh, did, they, uh, did they give you a, a, a reach out? Thank you. They did. Yeah, me too. They were yes, awesome. It's just so sweet. I'm so glad we're doing uh, another one of their interviews. But this is obviously she's the Nightingale of South India. We've heard, <sighs> I feel like hundreds of her songs. Yeah, uh, she, one of the most I, listened to yeah, voices. I, we've iconic heard. Uh, voice of South India. Um, and so this is a, one of kind of similar, very thing, cool. But, and apparently this is a whole series of a Raman Raman music sheet. And so they that's great over a. Raman. I still would like to know how in the world they got because I and Johnny had never said granted and Johnny's not South Indian, but she too. It was like, how did I've never seen Prabhu in an interview. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how they do that. Yeah, it was I, great. I wish you would do one with us. I maybe, know. Maybe I'll reach out to them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you have Prabhu's contacts. <laughs> exactly. It's about icon and stay entertained. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. These are non bar. Man music sheets. It's true. <laughs> I sang in Hindi oh. also in Hindi. Oh. The music for this film. Improvised so much in that song. And I was feeling Ayayo, I couldn't do anything because I sang first. <laughs> One of the uh, biggest blessings I got in my life, that song. We've watched her live, too. I, I remember seeing her in a, one, at least uh, one live one performance. Lesson. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like... You no, 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 no. A reaction. Yeah, yeah, we have. I don't want that. K.S. Chitra, one of the best playback singers in Indian cinema. Six national awards. <laughs> Singing in many Indian and foreign languages. KS Chitra has been on her songs. Singing Million Dollar Arm. For 40 years, she is considered to have more than 25,000 songs to her credit. The amount of numbers that people in I India know. have is just. Astonishing. The creative output is mind boggling. More than 25,000 songs. 25,000 is, I think it's not the correct number. <laughs> Much less than that. Should be 18,000. Okay. Ah. Uh, people, when, oh, when, they, when they write about me, they oh. start well, well, that's all. That's it. Songs, yeah. You should do some more songs. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone should correct this number now. Ma'am, how challenging it is to sustain a career for 40 years. 
Um, actually, to be frank, I didn't take any holidays at all. All these years, I didn't go out anywhere for just for uh, fun or uh, for holidays. I was always uh, concentrating in my music and my uh, recordings and shows. So I didn't realize it was almost 40 years. Oh, when somebody came for an interview um, uh, uh, around 25 years, then only I realized, oh, 25 years passed. Oh, so uh, so fast. I didn't know. Take some time. Time was flying. She <laughs> obviously loves it. Myself, yeah. Um, ready. Whenever they call me, I have to be available. Maybe I'm workaholic. I don't take much. <laughs> seems coffee. like it. Yeah, it seems like uh, it. I work. Whatever work comes but to she, me. But she I loves it. Dedicate 100% on, on that. Well, before I get into your association with Mr. Rahman, I have to tell you something. I spoke with many of your colleagues, including Mr. Rahman, and everyone agreed on one point, that you are always smiling. Yeah, I was going to say, what she's always smiling. I don't know. I don't, there is no secret in, in this because uh, even from my childhood, I was like this. Some, somebody looks at my face, I start laughing. I, that is my nature. <laughs> By birth, I'm like this. <laughs> I believe your mother used to be very upset and scolded you for non-stop smiling. Yes, yes. Why? My mom was very scared when girls always keep smiling. Uh, people might uh, say misinterpret it. me and she was very scared. That's unfortunate, yeah. Name. She always used to uh, tell me, you have to be serious, don't. Uh, laugh at strangers. Only if you know them personally, smile at them. Otherwise, uh, you should not keep laughing at everyone. <laughs> keep smiling at everyone. <laughs> but I couldn't stop. I, I couldn't stop it. Because <laughs> <laughs> she seems so lovely. Ma'am, I asked Kavita Krishnamurti ji and Sadhna Sargam ji about their favorite song. Let me show you their answers and then we'll talk further. You know, one song which I really like is, of course, Chitra Ji's Kehna Hi Kya. I just love that song. I think she has sung it, uh, uh, she has sung it brilliantly. Kehna Hi Kya is a song I really like a lot. Kehna Hi Kya Mujhe Achha Lagta Hai. Tu Hi Re Achha Lagta Hai. Ye Gaane Chitra Ji Ne Jis Tarah Se Gaaya Hai. Jaisse Unke Gale Me Jo Baate Hai, Wo Us Gaane Ke Liye Itni Khubsurat Se Aai Hai. You sang this song in Tamil, Hindi and Telugu. What are your memories? That was one of the biggest blessings I got in my life, that song. I have to thank Ramanji for choosing me for that song. You know, uh, for the recording, uh, uh, when I was singing, he said, Chitraji, uh, more pleasant. It, uh, when you sing, I'm getting a little path pathos feeling. I don't want that. Uh, I, want to be, I want you to be more happy uh, in your uh, rendition. Then I tried my best. And uh, uh, the chorus portion and everything was uh, uh, written on the day only. While recording only, they were doing the uh, uh, chorus portions also. Then I wrote in my book and then later he called me and asked me, can you just dictate the lines because I want to make the chorus sing those lines. And I, uh, on the phone, I, uh, I told him all the lines. The biggest blessing is Guardian has chosen as one of the thousand songs which you must listen That's to. That's score, also. man. That was the biggest blessing I got. Yeah, that's an epic Still, score. I have to thank epic film too. Yeah. For this particular song, and when wherever I go, people request me to sing this song. So this has become uh, a stamp for me. Just in a, a microphone at a podium. Gee whiz. A podium. So how did you react to it? My word. When I sang, I told you, no, I was, I, I only get the rhythm and the, and he used to play with me on the keyboards. He didn't make any tracks until that time. Only after um, uh, my, taking my voice, he did all the orchestration. So everything was new when I heard it. What was your reaction when you listened to the final track? 
I was really, uh, uh, what should I say? I was so happy and uh, so excited. Ma'am, we two are very excited and greedy too. Can you sing few lines of this song for us as well? <laughs> The fact that they just asked these legendary singers to do this. Hey, Celine Dion, can you just... I know. That's why people got mad at us with Shreya. Yeah. They didn't get mad. It's like, why don't you ask her to sing? It's not normal here. Just sitting there unwarmed up. <laughs> she said, Can I sing it again? Like, she wasn't perfect the first time. She knew it wasn't in the right key. She wanted to find the right key. My word. Indian singers are something else. I'm not singing it properly. My voice is creating problems. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on. from Bombay. No, no, I want to sing Karnalane only. That is a much more better song for me. Okay, we'll wait for a few seconds. One more. What's she doing? It's the dynamics. In a room that probably doesn't have great acoustics. We are hmm. mesmerized. Whoa. <laughs> the throat is not cooperating. <laughs> ma'am, over the years, we have a classic, a dialect song. That's what the greats do, ma'am. What do you think? What's so special about it? Uh, there is melody and there is... Uh, uh, the, that fast, that what you want you to say, the rhythmic, uh, f uh, good, good. Uh, you, I don't know how to express. You know, that was a very beautiful song, uh, which one can get. That's what I should say. And I have to uh, mention one more thing. Uh, uh, I sang the uire uh, uire all the tuhire uh, also in Hindi. Then uh, Ramanji personally called me and said. Uh, uh, we, we may have to change one song because uh, the com audio, you can edit it if it is... Uh, Not at all. If it, okay. We'll keep everything uh, back. I'm just telling you what happened. He called me and <laughs> said that I'm, I, I, I will have to change to Hire because the, uh, the uh, uh, label, audio label, they wanted, they were complaining that all South Indian uh, singers have come. So we want somebody from the North also to be included in the soundtrack. So he, he asked my permission. That is something I really uh, appreciate. You know, no, nobody else do that. But he called me personally and uh, requested me that he's going to do this. So that is something, his quality, one of his qualities, that's what I feel. Do you think qualities like these stand Mr. Rahman apart? Otherwise, you know, in film industry, such professional etiquettes are generally forgotten. Yes. But he's very particular about those. Yes, yes. That is that is one of his best qualities. Recognizing the work of others. Coming back to Yuvire, 
over the years this song too has become a classic uh, what memory do you have of it singing with hari haran ji and you have performed this song with him on many occasions uh, when actually when i sang hari ji hari ji his voice was not there only uh, i sang first and then only i could hear hari ji has improvise so much in that song and i was feeling i you i couldn't do anything because i sang first no so uh, he has improvised a lot and even uh, while singing on stage also he improvises a lot and sometimes we i really get tensed uh, whether i'll get the time to start my lines or other i'll i leave it uh, so i always get tensed on the stage while singing that song with hari ji so it was this a uh, beautiful song and we have heard so many people singing that song in different different styles they with, with the different sangatis and everything people that is the, that is one song which everybody tries to uh, experiment or uh, they try to explore this is one song no singing reality show is complete without it it's I, as i told you earlier it is a blessing some songs comes as a blessing no <laughs> rehman to the world as a musician as a singer what's your opinion of that track something goes inside that music when you when when navin ji and everybody plays that that uh, that theme is bombay theme something happens to our mind i don't know how to express it but it goes inside straight inside so that is it that is the magic <laughs> Uh -huh. K.S. Chitra noticed Rahman when he was a young boy playing keyboard with many music composers. In our next episode, she recollects those moments. Also her fond memories of S.P. Balasubramaniam and Lata Mangeshkar. two stalwarts mm. we lost recently ks chitra continues with us in our next episode stay with us wow that was another, another great interview another great interview she's one she seems like a lovely lovely person what a sweetheart she, she looks like so so wonderful by the way i love it when like greats are just like they they see something perfectly no flaws yeah and then they're like hold on i need to do that again that was that was not that was not good and yeah. then they just they're there and they're like i need to i need to fix this oh yeah <laughs> cuz it's not up to par cuz they're, they're they know what's only they only yeah. they can notice it yes <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely insanity uh I, i would never ever think to ask a musician of especially of that that caliber her caliber shrey goshal yeah. lataji ar rahman to to just Hey, sing one of your famous songs I for know. us real quick, huh? I know. It's like asking Jim Carrey, "Hey, say all righty then." Huh? Right. It, <laughs> it's just not something you do here. You it's yeah, it's not. It's just a cultural difference. That's yeah. why it didn't come to our mind when we were talking to the muscular dove. It just didn't doesn't occur to us. It's just on the spot because first of all, it's on the spot. And the voice audio might not is probably not good. Audio's not good. Their voice isn't warmed up. So Indian, it's kind of a setup to make them look bad but in I, the west uh, but i guess indian singers are they're just so they're, they've been trained for so long they're that good. like they, they don't need any time no <laughs> cuz it's just like no, i'm i've trained my entire life i am ready yeah and <laughs> what she was probably doing and i'm sure there were other things in there i would have never been able to pick up but for example there's a point where for example a note may be written and meant to be performed where it's a high note and you know how they slide around and do things with a note and they're supposed to land in what they call on top of the note yeah so when they sing it they've landed on the note and then descend 
she probably sang it and felt like she climbed to the note and then descended, and that wasn't acceptable to her because she knows I need to drop down onto the note, yeah, not climb up to the note. And so she's eh, that, that level of perfectionism is why she's so great. Yeah, what a gorgeous woman, gorgeous voice. That was fantastic. They do great interviews here. Yep. Uh, let us know what other interviews of hers or this channel's or other interviews we can react to down below. Just. <laughs>